Matthew R. Miller, horror writer. I think I'm traumatized because I just watched Terrifier 3. <coughs> Our favorite psychopathic serial killing clown, Art, is back having his fun. <coughs> if you haven't seen the Terrifier film series, the first one actually is All Hallows' Eve. That's the first one that Art appears in, Art the Clown. Then Terrifier, Terrifier 2, Terrifier 3, which just came out. And man, it's an independent film. It had a, uh, what was the budget? $2 million budget, which is considered, today's, today is considered a very low budget film. It made $18 million in the first weekend, outdoing Joker 2. It is the number one top grossing film this weekend in America, and it's an independent film, and I love that. Uh, written and directed by Damien Leone, or Leone, I'm not sure which one he pronounces it as. Uh, cast, well, it stars David uh, Howard Thornton as Art the Clown and some other greats. Really good acting, too. So, <clears throat> these films are slashers, gore fests, but they also are horror comedy. I consider them horror comedy. They're very dark humor. Um, you know, the real strength of these films is Art the Clown and David, uh, David who plays him. And man, because Art never speaks, but he's so expressive in the way he acts. It's almost like a silent era film actor, how they had to overdo everything, or, you know, overexpress themselves. Um, and it works for Art. It makes him this, this horrifying yet almost comical character because it's such juxt juxtaposition. The opening scene of the film, after he slaughters his entire family, he eats a cookie and then washes the dish in the sink and puts it, you know, it's just this juxtaposition. Um, the gore, of course, is over the top, ridiculous, and almost funny to that degree. If you keep in mind it's a film and those are effects. It's got like 2% CGI. You know I don't like CGI in horror films, and the substance with Demi Moore proves that you do not need CGI in horror films. Still, most of the effects, 98%, Terrifier 3, are practical effects, and they're really good. I mean, they're, they're disgusting. <laughs> I mean, horrifying, really, really good. Some very creative kills, some ridiculous humor. Um, uh, at first, I said uh, that it didn't... It, okay, the Terrifier films, they have good characters. They have good plots, good stories, and they're good, sto they're good films for that reason. At first, I said no real theme, but it's not true. There is a theme in this film. We learn a lot more about art, the backstory, the lore, and now I'm pretty sure we know what art is. I'm not going to spoil it, but I think in Terrifier 2, you know that he's supernatural now. He's not just some dude in a clown suit. He is supernatural. But now I think we're pretty sure we know what art is. Um, okay. Um, uh, kind of um, uh, what I like about this film is kind of like Damien Leone said, okay, I'm going to take, take the most horrifying, disgusting gore and murder I can, and I'm going to have some fun with it. <laughs> you know, it's dark horror comedy. Now, um, it, uh, it's, fans, uh, there's been mixed reviews. A lot of people love it, Terrifier 3. Some people said it was boring. I'm like, if you think this is boring, what in the world can possibly excite you, <laughs> you know? It's not in any means boring. And I think some of the problems some people had was that it has much more of a story and character development and plot. Um, think about the Halloween series, Michael Myers. Uh, Halloween, the first one, is a classic. It's my favorite. But I loved Halloween Ends. A lot of people did not like it. They said, I just want to see Michael Myers walking around killing people. I understand that. But it had a backstory. It had artistic elements. It had themes. And Terrifier 3 has that, too. So if you just want to see art walking around killing people, you get that, but you also get some other stuff. I think that's why people have been saying, oh, I don't like it. How can you not like it? My God. If you like Terrifier series, I mean, it's really good, I think. And, uh, of course, horrifying gore and <laughs> over-the-top effects. And, oh, my God. Okay. So um, if you want to see a shocking film and uh, you haven't seen the Terrifier series yet, watch Hall Hallows Eve, Terrifier, Terrifier 2, and Terrifier 3. If you have seen up to T2, then see Terrifier 3. It's great, it's a gore fest, and it's fun. Long runtime, two hours and one minute, which is becoming more of a trend in filmmaking, which I like, because the film I'm trying to make, to, to you know, set up, is long, <laughs> based on my books, and so I like that. Anyway, Terrifier 3, a splatterpunk gore fest, and I recommend it. You've got to see it, and uh, have fun. And uh, Matthew R. Miller, and uh, by the way, I wanted to mention that I got a great compliment today as a horror writer, a person I know in real life who bought and read my latest Jack the Ripper book, and I have that right here, uh, said that they had, last night they woke up because they were having a, Jack, a nightmare about Jack the Ripper. I gave a real person a nightmare, and that is the greatest compliment a horror writer can get. So, uh, thanks for watching, and go check out Terrifier 3 for sure.